Welcome to the second episode of Engines of Metro North, and in this episode, we will be talking about the Bud M1 and M3 railcars. Now let's get started. In the 1960s, Metro North and the Long Island Railroad were both underfunded, and the cars that ran on them referenced that in being almost 60 years old. Just to let that sink in a little more, the cars could have fought in World War II, gotten social security, and be classified as senior citizens. Obviously, something had to be done about the elderly cars. Around this time, Penn Central was declaring bankruptcy, and the Lions cars and assets of Metro North and the Long Island Railroad found themselves under the control of the Metropolitan Commuter Authority. The two railroads could finally get some money to replace the elderly EMU cars and return both railroads to a state of good repair. One of the first items on the to-do list were a large order of self-propelled EMU cars to replace those older cars. The railroad would order a new car design called the Metropolitans from Bud, and these cars would be air-conditioned, only accommodate high-low boarding platforms, support automatic train operation, and have a top speed of 100 miles per hour. The Metropolitans ushered a new era of commuting in the New York City area. The M1s were the first in the series of Metropolitans, and they were ordered just as the MTA, the successor to the Metropolitan Commuter Authority, was gaining control of all Metro North and Long Island Railroad lines. The Long Island Railroad received their order of 770 cars being produced from 1968 to 1972, and Metro North placed an order for 178 cars, which were built from 1971 to 1973. And with these orders, the railroads retired their old fleet of EMUs with the modern Metropolitans. The modern M1s had 592 horsepower, and although they could achieve 100 miles per hour, they were limited to 80 miles per hour in service. The M3s, the M1's successor, came around when the electrified territory of both railroads was expanding, and the two railroads needed more EMUs to compensate for the increased ridership. Bud answered to them with a more modern version of the highly successful M1. The M3 had 640 horsepower, which was 48 more than the M1s, and featured other small differences. The M1s and M3s were capable of running together in revenue service, and the Long Island Railroad chose to do this. However, Metro North decided not to. The M1s re received mid-life rebuilds to have better matching interiors with the M3s and prolong their useful life. The same process was repeated in the mid-2000s with the M3s to let them have interiors to better match the M7. However, on the Long Island Railroad, the M3s were not rebuilt. The M1s were almost 35 years old when the two railroads started to seek a replacement, and that replacement was the M7. The M7 started to be rolled out to the Long Island Railroad in 2002 and Metro North in 2004. And the M1s were retired from the Long Island Railroad in 2007 and Metro North in 2009. In 2006, the National Railway Historical Society hosted a farewell to the M1 trip. As of 2018, all M1s are scrapped or in storage, except for pair 9547 and 9548, which are preserved at the Railway Museum of Long Island. Pair 9411 and 9412 survive as training cars at the Nassau County Fire Service Academy. Cars 9401 and 9591 were renumbered to E401 and E. 591 and service rail adhesion cars on Long Island Railroad. All of Metro North's M3s are still in service, however, they might not be in service for much longer, as in 2013, the MTA signed a contract for their replacement, and that would be the M9, with the Long Island Railroad receiving 462 and Metro North receiving 252 to replace those M3s, and with a bunch of test M9 sets showing up on Long Island Railroad property, the M3s will go sooner rather than later. And that is all about the Bud M1 and M3. If I made any mistakes, please leave them down in the comments. And please vote in the top right of the screen about the engine I should do next. And I hope you do vote so I can actually use the results this time. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, like it. And if you didn't dislike it, that's fine too. Leave a comment about anything else, and I hope to see you, yes you, in the next video. Goodbye.
Thank you.